This video is going to show you actually how to fold one of the most simple pieces of origami, but it's the most impactful. And by that I mean when you go to a teacher or parent or somebody and say, hey, I can take this flat piece of paper and I can fold this paper into a cup that will hold water They, without using tape, they will be so impressed. And you can actually get... Um, watercolor, a uh, waterproof paper, excuse me, waterproof printer paper, and you can make the cup using the paper. So what I'm gonna do is I have this origami paper here, it's two-sided, it's the um, color on one side, white on the other, and I'm gonna flip it over so that the white side, the white side or the inside of the paper is face up. So if you're using a two-sided paper, it doesn't matter so much if it's the same both sides. If it's a two-sided paper, two-colored paper that is different on each side, uh, for example, I have a piece here that's got this beautiful pattern on it, and then it's sort of like the solid color of the inside. You would put the the part that you want to be on the outside, you would have that face down. So part of my video series is going to be talking about all of the things to do and practice in origami that are going to make you successful. So it's going to be a little bit different than some of the videos you see where they um, where an, um, the instructor will just charge right into origami and they won't give you any reason behind it and you can follow along. I think that the video is a perfect format to be able to follow along with people, but I also want to educate you a little bit about origami. So in this video, we're going to start simple. I take my paper, I put it colored side face down. You want to make sure that you're using a table, you're not folding in your lap, because that's really going to help to your advantage. So I am going to fold the paper in half and I'm going, I, I held it kind of triangular. I'm going corner to corner like this and I line it up the best I can. So we notice I line it up and then I press the edges out here like this. So it's pretty lined up. At this point you will have a triangle here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it. I'll be marking this as I go as well so that you can kind of see where, and I may have a little on the upper left side, um, a little model of the video too to show you uh, where to do the folding. So I'm going to mark, I think on my left side, I am going to mark, there's a, this line, uh, angle here, and in this line there's about a halfway point about here. So you'll see about about there, and I might have to adjust it a little bit. It may not be exactly right, but that's going to give you a good idea. And I'm going to take my right side, and I'm going to bring it over to about that halfway point. So like this, and I might adjust it a little tiny bit. So, so I'll kind of show you. So I kind of change it a little bit. So I'm going to go to this point here. So you know, you're going to go to this point here, and what you're going to notice is you have a nice triangle shape here, you have a triangle shape here, um, and so that's how you know you did it right. Then I'm going to take my, and again, I'm just marking this now so that you can see the points in the video. I'm going to take my left side now, and I'm going to fold that across to the right side. So I have something that looks like this. So at this point, you're going to see it's a pentagon. It's a five-sided shape, one, two, three, four, five. It also has a lots of triangles. You have a triangle here and a triangle here. So that's how you know that you did it and the way it was intended to be done. And I'm gonna crease, I'm using my fingers. And then at the top, there are two flaps, two layers. So we're gonna take the top layer, and we're gonna fold this down as far as it goes like this. So pull this down pretty far, I'm gonna crease it. And I bet you guys can guess what the next step would be. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over and I'm going to put the other side down like this. And you have something that looks like this. And I will actually, in fact, show you, um, if you're making in this home, you could obviously add some water. I'm going to just show you, I'm going to pause the video real quick. I'm going to get my water and I'm going to come back and show you how it will hold water. So now that I'm back, I'm going to show you. So I'm going to have a cup of water. I have my little paper cup here and I can pour water in here. And as you notice, nothing. My table is completely dry. 
So this is really a great, great, great trick. What will happen eventually with the regular origami paper is that it will eventually bleed through the paper. It's just not, the paper is not meant to actually hold liquid for that long. If you wanted to get a paper, there are papers available that will um, hold uh, water. They're waterproof origami paper. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed this little lesson.